What up guys, it's your boy Chunky C here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about channel mode on your Fataba TFHSS receivers. Let's get into it. What up guys, it's me Chunky C. Hope everybody's getting ready for the weekend. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, today I want to discuss Fataba channel mode. Um, setting the channel modes on a Fataba receiver is one of the most important steps and you got to know how to do it and you got to know which to select for what particular setup that you want to use. Basically the channel mode um, basically it changes the channel allocations and tells you which ports are going to be to which channel. That'll make a little bit more sense here in a minute whenever we dive into this a little bit more. So, why would you want to do it? Uh, you may want to twin it or split the plane's controls in half like I covered in another uh, video talking about where you have half the controls on one receiver, half the controls on another receiver. Um, another popular reason why you would want two uh, receivers on a Fataba like this is you can actually double your channel count. Uh, if you've got a 18 channel or a 32 channel or let's say you even got a 12 channel and these were two six channel receivers if you had them you could double them up and you could turn it into into 12 channels. Um, or you may want to run two receivers uh, using S-Bus into a power distribution, kind of like the Fataba DLPH1, which I'll cover that in another video. Um, that's going to be part of my series of uh, uh, radio redundancy. So the way you do it, um, now the fastest receivers, they're a little bit different. Uh, you know, take a look at your manual uh, that come with the receiver. If you don't have your manual, you can go to Fataba USA and go to your receiver and uh, download it that way. They've pretty much got everything. Uh, me, myself, I kind of hate keeping paper around, so I'll recycle the, the manuals as soon as I get them. And I keep a folder on my computer for all my RC manuals. So I usually go right online and download an electronic copy of it anyway. And that's actually uh, off camera right now. That's what I'm looking at right now on my, on my PC screen. So for this step right here, for these receivers, you don't want to have your transmitter on. You want to leave your transmitter off. So we're going to start with this one right here. Uh, you get a couple of flashes and it'll go solid. There's a little button right here that you have to push in and hold for a few seconds and it'll start to flash and then it'll flash red and green. There we go. Now when you release it, the number of times that it blinks, that's the mode that you are in. So you have to know, I'll put a little snippet up of the manual here, a little, a little crop it out and put a little snippet of it but you have to know what mode you want to run you could have mode a which would be channels one through eight on this receiver mode b which would be channels one through seven and your eighth channel will be s bus and that'll have to be two times so you'd have to click that button again and change it and it'd flash twice mode c would be nine through sixteen mode d would be nine through fifteen and that eighth channel would be S bus and mode E which would be 8 through 14 and S bus at the end that would be flash flashing five times so for this little demonstration that I'm gonna do right here I'm gonna do mode A and mode C which basically I'm gonna make one of these channels one through eight and this one right here will be nine through sixteen so essentially the port one will be channel nine and it'll go all the way through sixteen so let me uh, let me hit this right now. Right now I'm actually flashing one, but I'm going to show you just for the fun of it. If I push it one time and release, you see now it's flashing twice. So that's mode B. Hit it again. Now that's three times. That's mode C. And if I keep on going around, I'll come all the way back around. That's five times. That's E. So this one should be one flash. 
So that right there is mode eight. So that's my one through channels one through eight. I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna do the same over here on this one. So if we got some flashing, I'm gonna take the button. Let's see what we got here. I'll hold this down till we get alternating red and green flashing light. There we go. Alright, I got one, two, three. So that's already mode C. So that's channel 9 through 16. So we're good on that. So with these being set, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. The reason, like I said, the reason why I did this short little video is this is a very important part and I wanted to make sure that everybody's on the same page. We know how to do this because in my next video, we're going to actually go into my radio. And if you have a Fataba radio, you've probably already noticed this and you may or may not know. But if you go into the fastest menu, you have, you can do dual receiver links. It has two link buttons that you can hit. But I'm going to show you something on the TFHSS. It only has one link button, but you can link both of these to the same model. So just uh, stay tuned for that video, guys, and uh, I'm going to get out of here. I hope everybody has an awesome weekend and, uh, you know, don't get in too much trouble. And uh, if you like the video, if you like this content, if you found it helpful, maybe you learned something, you know, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, if you didn't like it, then hit that thumbs down and do it right and do it twice. So until the next time, guys, peace.